This tiny room is the home to a startup called Liarbird. It was founded by Yashua's former students and has built an app that can clone your voice. Are you speaking about this new algorithm to copy voices? This is huge. It can make us say anything now, really anything. One of its founders is this guy, Mexican expat Jose. He taught me the art of the clone. So you'll need to record yourself for a few minutes of audio. Thousands of letters danced across the amateur author's screen. When you start to eat like this, something is the matter. You guys better quit politics and take in washing. I don't know where that one came from. <laughs> okay, so create my digital voice now. Creating your digital voice takes at least one minute. One minute? My God. Yeah, so before, to create some uh, artificial voice of someone, you would need to record yourself for um, at least uh, eight hours. Test your voice. All right, so now I get to type something. Yeah, so the moment of the truth. Okay. Once Liarbird's AI has worked its magic, after I'm done typing... Oh, I gotta spell better. Any words I put into the app can be played back in my digital voice. And here's the crazy thing. Even words I never actually said in the first place. Artificial intelligence technology seems to be advancing very quickly. Should we be afraid? I mean, I can definitely hear my voice in there. That's, that is, that's really interesting. I just picked those words at random and I definitely did not say some of them. And it's like flawless and being able to sort of pick from just about any word and, and manufacture it. Hello world is the best show I have ever seen. <laughs> this technology seems sweet, but lends itself to all manner of trickery. I've popped back to my hotel to test out the Liarbird technology a little bit, and you can see some really obvious ways that this could be abused. This is, this is fake Donald Trump talking. The United States is considering, in addition to other options, stopping all trade with any country doing business with North Korea. And then you could picture somebody taking over your voice and creating some mayhem in your personal life. Now, to really put my computer voice to the test, I am going to call my dear, sweet mother and see if she recognizes me. Hey, Mom. Hi. What are you guys up to today? Um, well, it's Saturday. We didn't have any electricity early this morning, and we're just hanging around the house. I'm just finishing up work and waiting for the boys to get home. Okay. I think I'm coming down with a virus. Oh, why well, you feel bad, hey? <laughs> I was messing around with you. You were talking to a computer. I felt like I was talking to you. It's amazing. <laughs> Is that scary or, or good? It could be scary if it was something really important. It's you now, isn't it, Ash? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> it sounds like you. Is it? Yes, it sounds <laughs> like you, yeah. After realizing that anyone with the time and inclination could mess with my life, there was only one thing left to do. I joined Jose and a few other liarbirds to chat more about the evils of AI while dulling my fear with booze. Obviously, some people are freaked out by this technology because we're already like blurring the line about truth and reality. Of course, there is some risk in, in, uh, in people using this kind of technology for bad applications. Unfortunately, technology is it's not possible to stop it. So the ethical path that we have decided is to show this to people, to make them know that this kind of technology is available, and so to make them more cautious on this kind of uh, subject. We really believe that right now, when the technology is not perfect, is the right time to let people kind of play with it, get used to it slowly. So you guys think that the idea is just sort of new and that's why it scares people, but if you get used to it, it's just that's just the way it is. We want our technology to be used for, for positive things. It's not something that we should be really afraid of. It's something that we should be careful about, but I feel enthusiastic about. It. 
It's nice to be enthusiastic. It's also nice to meditate on the consequences of your inventions, instead of turning our souls over to chance and blind luck. But it is kind of cool to be a cynical bastard in my new artisanal computer voice. Welcome Russian friends to our huge, wonderful and very pure elections.